So same coverage, two tight ends, two backs. Um, how are we aligning these guys? We kept the two, really the mic and the will, we're still really in 30 techniques on the guards. Um, we were really just whatever it would be to the, to the split inside, we were making our, our Sam guy really a, 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 a knocker on the tight end for lack of a better term. He was a four by four player and could really play based on the block he was getting from that guy because he knew he had support here and he knew he would get inside help from this guy. So our number one deal was we were trying to knock the stew out of the tight end as many times as we could. Um, and again, keep that guy guessing, but hopefully letting guys play off of us was our main, main deal on that deal and, and whacking the tight end. So their two tight ends were their best pass catchers. So we were trying to whack them as much as we could, run or pass to disrupt these guys. So again, you see a ton of overlap. There, there are some seams that get created. There, there's literally two guys that they don't get to on this play. Um, re regardless of what you're doing to the front, obviously these guys are a big zone team. We will get gap scheme as well, but it still is a function of zoning up and this guy's literally taking two people. Does he get reached? Yep, he sure does. Great, play over top of him and make the hit. So that, that's really, we're, we're not making it any more difficult than that. So.